Hello friends, my name is Matty McLean, I'm a Canadian Eurovision, and today I'm doing something a little bit different because I'm revisiting one of my favorite albums of all time. So in 2015, Carly Rae Jepsen released her second major studio album called Emotion, and it is fantastic. And today, for no apparent reason, I'm just going to rank them all because why not? No one's going to stop me, so it only seems fair. So... Uh, they just go from the beginning of the track list all the way down to the bottom. That's fine. Uh, some of these songs I remember very vividly. Some of these songs I remember not quite so vividly. So I think this song's gonna this this album should fit fairly nicely into the scale. So number one, "Run Away with Me" is still probably one of my favorite songs of all time. So easy S tier, easy S tier, really really good. Uh, emotion also. Well, A tier for sure. Maybe S tier. We'll find out soon. I really liked I Really Like You when it came out. Has it aged super well? Debatable? Like, it's not bad by any means. A lot of people still really enjoy it. I'm going to put it this. It's a safe B song, though, for sure. I definitely think there's some things there that can be, you know, heightened. But it's still really good. Uh, we have Give Me Love. Give Me Love is really good. Very strong. I would say above I Really Like You, but not quite in the A tier category. I think that's a safe place to put it. Uh, all that. Very nice slow jam. It's not my favorite. So of all the songs, I think that's probably in a C category. Still good. Still highly listenable. Still a lot of fun. But, you know, not great. Also, I do like to point out that Carly Rae Jepsen was on Canadian Idol. She did very well. And ever since then, I have enjoyed her. So... I would, you know, I could argue that we could do, go back and do some of the earlier stuff, but let's see how this one does first. If you want to see more, by all means, let me know. I'm happy to accommodate. That's kind of what I'm trying to do these days. So, you know, hit me up. Let's make it happen. Uh, n Boy Problems. Great song. <laughs> it's just so much fun. I feel like anytime she plays this, she knows her audience. She she knows what's what's up. So keeping that up in the top, I think that's a fair bet. Making the Most of the Night was really good. I would say it's right up there, just above, uh, just below Boy Problems. Just, or is it high B? You know what, I think it's high B. I feel like that's its place. Um, it's really good. I feel like a lot of her songs have just a really solid beat, and just her vocals over top are just great. So, you know, I'm obviously extremely biased for this, and no, I don't apologize. But also, this is an album that's seven years old, so I don't think anyone's going to get too bent out of shape when I fangirl out about it a little bit. Your type. Hmm. It's not my favorite. I'm going to just kind of throw it up there. I think that it's fine. And some of these songs have a little bit more oomph to them, and some of these songs have a little less. So... This is a song I feel has a little less oomph. Maybe doesn't hold up quite as well, but obviously very good song. Let's Get Lost is probably one of my other favorite songs on the album. I think that it's so cute the way it opens with that nice little timpani. Not timpani. Um, yeah, but the way it opens just has a really nice fun launch into the system. I think there's a lot of really cool stuff that comes up. If you've never heard this album, by the way, it's fantastic. It's still fantastic. I've been listening to it all week again, just because why not? It's still fantastic. And it turns out that yes, it is still fantastic. So for sure, check it out. Um, some of the songs you can skip, LA Hallucinations, still not my favorite. It's, it's one of those songs that kind of falls to the back of my head a little bit. So I'd never really remember it super vividly. Same with Warm Blood. Uh, Warm Blood, though, I think is better than L.A. Hallucinations. And When I Needed You would be up here in the B category easily. Actually, right above I Really Like You. So th there you go. This is the main album. So this is everything that came out for the initial release. And these next five are from the deluxe version. So I'm going to throw these in there as well. Uh, Black Heart's another song that kind of falls in the middle slash the lower middle. So I'm going to leave this here. Uh, I Didn't Just Come Here to Dance is a song that I would say is pretty great. I really like how it's set up. I like how it pays off. I'm going to consider it kind of right, up, right below Boy Problems. I think it's definitely one of those A-tier songs that comes on, and I'm going to be listening to it all the way through no matter what, so for sure. Favorite Color. This song obviously has some personal meaning for me because, you know, anything that has to do with color 
and around that time it's when i was painting a lot of people so i'm just like yeah anytime around there i can get away with a little bit more but i would consider it kind of in the c tier category definitely not one of her best songs but i do love how she writes her songs i feel like she's very very clever in how she mixes her lyrics with the music and gets it all you know she, she's very strong lyrically and makes very very interesting incompetent work so never get to hold you it's kind of a slower one um is it my least favorite maybe it's not above some of the other ones i feel confident with that i think that's a good place for it overall like this entire album if you've never heard it listen to it now uh i don't want to take your g card away but you know i will judge accordingly and there's a lot here that I think a lot of people overlooked when it was first released, but this album still gets a lot of listens to this day, and I think it's because of the solid songwriting and solid song. So definitely check it out. There's a lot. What I'm saying is I'm trying to keep my fanboy in check. Maybe I'm keeping it too much in check, but it's, oh, it's such a good album. I really love it. It's so silly and fun, and if you really just want an album that you can just kind of put on and be like, I need a good pride playlist, half of these songs fit perfectly. So definitely definitely check it out all right the last song off of the emotion deluxe album was called love again and it's silly it's fun it's poppy it's good definitely check it out but i would put it firmly in the b category because i think that the chorus itself is really good even though it contains the lyric open up your heart to the ceiling which is kind of you know gets me thinking alien or predator type of vibes but apart from that Still a great song, still really, really good, and definitely check it out. Uh, her first hit off of, like, after the album came out was Cut to the Feeling, which was part of side B. Easy, easy top. I think there's a reason this is the first Carly Rae Jepsen song that was on RuPaul's Drag Race with Monique versus the Vixen. Mo uh, yeah, it was Monique Hart versus the Vixen, because she was, I remember being very upset with her, being like, come on. Come on, you don't even know the lyrics to Cut to the Feeling. It's such a good song. It's such a good song. But I get it. Uh, moving on. First time, really good song. Very solid. Uh, I'm, I'm, I do favor her more boppy songs. I think that there's a certain kind of magic that comes from them. So, yeah, I definitely think that a lot of these songs have staying potential. And if you've never heard them before, definitely worth a listen. Some of these, though, um, the next song we have on our list is Higher. It's kind of one of her darker, smokier songs. I would definitely consider this High C. I don't know if I would consider it one of her all-time greats on the album, but it definitely has a really good feel to it. It's moodier, and I really like that. I like when she kind of experiments with things a bit more and has a little bit more fun with what you would expect from her. So definitely want to check out. I'm saying definitely a lot. Do I always say definitely a lot? Maybe. I probably do. I'm saying probably a lot now, too. That's good to know. I'm finding things out about myself. This is what we're discovering together, you know, as a family. Uh, the One, again, not my favorite. Um, definitely one that kind of sits in the lower, but it has a really solid beat. I, th You know, I would consider it right above all that. Solid beat, a lot of fun, still really good. Uh, Fever loses me a little bit. Fever is a song that's slower... It's now it's not quite uh, exactly what I'm always looking for, but it's it's still good. Like giving me a bad Carly Rae Jepsen song is still better than getting 90% of everything else. So I will keep this very very. You know I think that this is a, good, a proper place for it. All right, I think it's only fair to do this next part. These next few in kind of a reverse order. Uh, Roses is not my favorite song in fact i think it's probably one of my least favorite songs that she's released but it's still good it's like bad pizza even when it's bad pizza it's still pizza so you still like it so we're good store a lot of people really hate but i really dig i think that it's a lot of fun very tongue-in-cheek very fun boppy um a little bit more well i'm gonna say less serious because there's just a lot to it that's kind of silly and it's definitely one of those songs that I think flies under people, flies over people's head a little bit because they're like, oh, what is this chorus? But it turns out it's actually really funny. So very clever, very clever. Uh, Cry, not my favorite. I'm going to leave it at a low, uh, low B, 
still good, still very listenable too, but you know, not not my favorite. But body language is so good. I would consider this right above boy problems because it's just fantastic. Also, I will be seeing Carly Rae Jepsen in the fall, and I'm super excited because I get to see her again, and it's been a couple years. I haven't seen her since pandemic hit, so you know, there's been some stuff. It's, it's been a lot that's happened, but anyways, that's all for me today. Uh, I'm going to quickly check to see what other people think as well, so let's do that. So some note, there's a few ones here that aren't any surprise. Run Away With Me, Emotion, I Really Like You All. Like, all of her major songs seem to be in the near-perfect category. Totally legit. Get that very well. I like how they also have store really high, which I wasn't expecting. But it seems like a lot of the songs that kind of fall below are kind of the same ones. Uh, Warm Blood, Roses, Never Get to Hold You, Didn't Just Come Here to Dance. Oh, that should be higher. That should be higher. Same with Cut to the Feeling. Cut to the Feeling is really low. Anyways, this is just my opinion. Uh, if you're a Carly Rae Jepsen fan, let me know. If you are Carly Rae Jepsen, hello, I love you. And finally, you can find me online at The Big Shabam. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. And hopefully, at some point soon, I will have another episode of a Canadian Eurovision. But until then, if you like my clothing, you can find it online at onecheekgeek.com. And finally, uh, y'all have been great. I hope to see you soon.